What is cracking healthiest social media family in the game? It's your boy K Shines, AK Kevin Hines. And I'm here at Whole Foods, walking home from a day of groceries that have been gotten for the love bug, for the wife, for uh, Mia Moore, Margaret Hines. And this is a vlog about her. Let's break it down. Let's talk about the love of my life, my very best friend, and the greatest thing, person, individual that has ever happened to me. You guys know quite clearly that I've been in pain since the day I was born. You know, I was born in squalor in the Tenderloin of San Francisco to biological parents who were on drugs and died of drugs, but they died of mental illness. You know, I was adopted by the Heinzes, my new mom and dad, my mom and dad for life, Patrick and Deborah Heinz. Thank you for saving my life and for making me the man I am today. I owe a great deal of my well-being, my ability to succeed in life, and my humanism to you, Mom and Dad, Pat and Debbie. You grew me, you raised me, you taught me right from wrong, you taught me how to be the best person I could be and the kindest, most compassionate person I could be to everybody I came into contact with, no matter what they were going through. Mom especially taught me never to judge anybody based on the way they looked, who they loved, their socioeconomic background, their race, color, or creed, their religious affiliation or political affiliation. Mom, you taught me to be non-judgmental and kind and compassionate and empathetic throughout to every person, no matter what or how they behave toward you. Dad, you taught me the value of hard work, the value of effort to do good for others. You taught me that giving was the true receiving, and you taught me how to give back in the biggest way I could. And Dad, when I got those 120 letters in the mail, 120 letters in the mail from 120 kids who had seen my first presentation. And dad, when I went to the rectory at St. Cecilia's to receive from Monsignor Michael Harriman 120 letters from 120 kids I'd spoken to two weeks prior, my first presentation, when I got those 120 letters from 120 kids that were at the presentation, they weren't, man, you know, I'm no fool. They were mandated to write those letters. They were mandated. Uh, 120 little kids, seventh and eighth graders, didn't get together and go, let's all write to the suicidal guy. No, that's not what happened. They were mandated to write those letters, but they weren't given parameters on what they could write. And in those letters, they included several of them, how they were actively suicidal. We got to them in time and their lives were saved. And dad, when you read those letters from my first presentation, you turned to me and you said, Kevin, we have to do this however, wherever, and whenever possible. And dad, we never stopped. We traveled around the world, sometimes with you, sometimes with my lovely wife, Margaret, sometimes with others, sharing a message of hope healing and recovery and the art of wellness. And we've now spoken, and I say we, cause it's a collective we. Me, many other speakers from around the world, many speakers from Australia, you know who you are. We've spoken around the world, the collective, the Conquer Collective, conquering our pain and helping you conquer yours to over 2 million people in person. And we've left a message to almost a billion people through social media and video messaging. Almost a billion people have heard the story, my story of suicide prevention and recovery from very, very, very dark places and a great deal of pain. On that note, let's get back to the vlog at hand. Margaret Seldron Heinz, the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, by far, bar none. You, if you don't know the story, I met Margaret uh, on my third psych ward stay. And that'll be for a different vlog. I'll, do, I'll, I'll tell the whole story on the next vlog. But I'm Kay Shining right now all damn day. You know it is true. I'll tell the full How I Met Margaret story on my next vlog after this one. Right now, I just want to give her a shout out and a message. My dearest Margaret, you came to my life when I was in a world of pain, a world of suffering, and a world of hurt. And you absolutely 110% saved my life and saved me the ability to do things like make this vlog right here. You saved my life countless times you brought me to four psych ward stays when you didn't want to, when you were in so much pain watching me fall apart mentally and end up in those terrible places that are not fit to, to house people in my kind of pain because of the way they're treated in those psych wards. We're working on that, folks. We're working on the mental health system in America and changing it forever. That's coming soon. We'll do a vlog called Cracked and Broken, America's Failed Mental Health System, and follow that up with a documentary, a 90-minute documentary on the topic. But here's the thing, guys. 
If it wasn't for Margaret Hines, I wouldn't be the man I am today. I wouldn't be well, I wouldn't be sane, I wouldn't be sound, and I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I'd be dead from suicide because this woman came into my life at a dark time and changed me forever. She gave me hope. She gave me passion and drive I never had. And she absolutely augmented my entire destiny. Now we've had our ups and downs. We've had our serious rough patches. Uh, we've been close, uh, I've been close to, to walking away from our marriage. And I'm, I'm telling you that honestly, truthfully, I'm being real with you. But not because I, I not because of her, not because of Margaret. No, I, I, I almost walked away from our marriage because of my mental instability. You see, guys, when I become mentally unstable, when I become extremely manic or unwell mentally, I, I do a lot of damage to the people that love me. I hurt them really badly. I devastate them in a way that unless you are a member of my family, you don't know about and you can't fathom. Margaret, I'm sorry for ever hurting you when I was unwell mentally. I'm sorry for ever hurting you, dad, mom, Jake, all of my friends, all of my colleagues who've seen me suffer and see me battle this disease bipolar disorder. I'm sorry if I ever broke your heart, offended you or affected you in a negative way. I'm sorry to the people I damaged with my mental instability and my struggles, but more particularly Margaret Hines. I vow to be the best husband you could possibly have from this day forward. I vow to be the one you fell in love with, the man you wanted to marry so badly uh, when I gave you that terrible proposal. Listen to how I proposed to my love, the love of my life. It was a debacle. We'll, we'll tell the whole story of how we met next vlog, but I have to tell you right now how I proposed because it was a nightmare. I went to a party that I was supposed to come home from on our two year dating anniversary at 12.01, the minute of the very day of our anniversary, I was supposed to come home and, and, and tell Mar ask Margaret to be my lovely wife. And uh, I ended up at the party being there too late, getting too excited at the party. It was a birthday party for Phil Cunningham. Shout out Phil Cunningham, what's cracking? And Jake Lewis jumps up and goes, hey Kev, it's 12.15 Kev. Don't you have to be at home to propose to Margaret? Because I told the whole team, the whole clique about what I was doing. I ran to my house. It was like a couple of miles. I sprinted there, having an asthma attack the whole time without my inhaler. I run upstairs. I come barging into our room, huffing and puffing. And I scare the crap out of my lovely wife, wake her up. And she goes, oh my God, is there a fire? And I was like, no, honey, there's no fire. There's no fire. But I have to tell you something. You have to come into the computer room right now. It's critical you come to the computer room. I have to see you at this moment. And she goes, what's in the computer room that's so important? It's six in the morning, come back to bed. I'm not getting up. I was like, no, Margaret, you have to. It's, it's, it's 1230, we have to get to the computer room. There's something I have to show you right now. And so we go to the computer room. The computer is not even on. She goes, what is happening? I get down on bended knee. I look at Margaret and she looks down at me and she goes, no, 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 not like this, not like this. I said, Margaret, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? And she looks at me and she goes, no, not like this. I said, are you saying no? And she goes, come to bed. She didn't answer. I was freaking out. I was, I was losing my mind. She didn't answer. So I get in bed and she falls sound asleep, like almost snoring. And I've got the ring under her pillow and I'm like, oh my God, what if she wakes up tomorrow and she says, no, what am I going to do? And so 6 a.m., like 6.01, I wake her up, Margaret, Margaret. And she turns to me and she says, yes. And it was a beautiful moment had by her and I, one of the most beautiful. And we got married at the church. I went to school at St. Cecilia's. St. Cecilia's where... I had been bullied and abused and, and, and hurt by the students there, by their racism and their bigotry. When I went there as, 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 a, as a kid, I was one of the only part black kids that went there and they let me have it. They would pull my ears aside and say, whistle, little N-word whistle. They would hold me from behind and punch me in the gut. Mike Ramirez and Tony Guerrero and Tony Ribeiro would do that. Yeah, you bet I said your names. Um, and they would punch me in the gut uh, just so nobody could see the bruises. And they would hold me down and say, all kinds of demeaning things are racially charged. Um, and and they, would, they would pick me up and put me in a trash can upside down, face first in banana peels. I'm not crying about it, that was the life, you know? That was what happened to me. But I grew up, I got past the bullying, which all of us can. Bullying doesn't have to define you. It doesn't have to take you from this world. It doesn't have to lead to your suicide attempt. It has to lead you to saying four simple but effective words when you're in pain, I need help now, nonetheless. Margaret Hines met me in my third psych ward stay 
Two years later, she be, she became engaged to me. It's January 24th, 2007, she became my wife. We've been married for almost 12 years, together for 14, maybe 15 years, and she is the greatest gift I've ever received. So Margaret, this is for you. This is for all the pain I've ever caused you. All the struggle I've ever put you through. And all the hurt I've ever given your way. I never meant it, Marge. And I love you vigorously. With every fiber of my being, you are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm trying not to cry on this thing here, okay? I'm trying to hold these tears back. Tears are a biological necessity. If you need to cry, let it go. <laughs> I've hurt my dearest Margaret more than I've hurt anybody in my life. With my words, with my actions, because of my mental instability. When I'm manic, I become a different person. And I break people's hearts. Just like I hurt my dad, just like I hurt my mom. I just found out recently through the filming of our new documentary, a prequel to Suicide, The Ripple Effect, that my mom thought I abandoned her. And I have to respect that, that feeling she had, because that's her experience. And I never asked her what she went through when I did what I did by jumping off the Queen Gate Bridge. Mom, I love you. I'm sorry I hurt you. And everybody I've ever hurt, especially Margaret Hines, I need you to know something. I am gonna work tirelessly for my better brain, mind, and behavioral health from now on. I'm not gonna ever go off meds again and not tell anybody. I'm not gonna let myself fall into that pit. The next time I come become remotely manic, I'm gonna go and check myself into a hospital or go ask for help and not deny this thing called mental illness that is real as the hands in front of my face. God, thank you for watching over me and my family because I do have faith. You don't have to have the faith I have. I'm not pushing on anybody. But thank you, God, for everything you've given me that I can give back to my family. And Margaret, one last thing. Honey bunny, my bug, angel of my heart, I love you. I always will. Until the end of time, my baby, you'll be. You are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Be well, everybody. Fight hard through that mental pain. And whatever the hell you do, be here tomorrow and every god dang day after that. And if you aren't right now, Find a place where you can K-shine all damn day. Bye, guys. See you soon. That's the vlog. YouTube.com slash Kevin Hines. Hit subscribe and click that bell. Bye, guys.